You mentioned that you have contracts that are ready to go with South Korea, the United Kingdom, and Switzerland, I believe, for, for vaccines to be ready for the fall of this year. Um, where do things stand with the United States? Are, are you in negotiations with them? And what's the situation just in terms of how much you can supply come this fall? Will, will, will there be shortages or will every country that wants them be, be able to get them at that point? That's a great question, Becky. So let me start with supply first. We're in a very different situation that we were last year. You know, last year we were ramping up the supply chain, building the manufacturing capabilities. And if you look at the output that we had in Q4 with 300 million doses, that was our highest quarter ever. You know, as a reminder, in Q1, we supplied 100 million doses. And we have a lot of new capacity coming online in Q1 uh, of this year. And so we think we can supply two to three billion doses of uh, boosters uh, this year. And if you look at the numbers I mentioned, the 18.5 billion of already signed orders for uh, 2022 and the 3.5 billion dollars uh, of options, they are mostly front loaded in the first half of the year. There's still a lot of capacity available for the fall. And as I said, there was a lot of discussions ongoing, uh, including with the US government. And Stefan, where do things stand with the vaccine for kids from Moderna? You know, with uh, Pfizer's getting delayed um, to some extent by a few months, there is a gap in coverage uh, in the U.S. for kids under five. Moderna, of course, is still waiting for clearance for under 18, and you, you uh, need data for, you know, kids in that middle age group. But I wonder, because there is that gap in coverage, where do, do your data stand in terms of the timing of getting that? And could Moderna potentially help fill that gap if your results are different uh, from Pfizer's and you get them earlier? Yes, so indeed, Meg, you know, for teenagers, you know, we have a vaccine approved in most countries, but the U.S. We should get very soon data in the younger children that do not have access to the vaccine today. We are, of course, in literally uh, discussions with the FDA several times per week. The agency is uh, very up to date to the data and the timing of the data. As soon as we have the data, of course, we'll share it. And we are, as always, hopeful that we can help uh, do our, our part and help protect as many people as we can. Hey, Stefan, I have two questions. One relates to targeting Omicron in terms of the next booster. There seems to be some debate in the scientific community about whether if you do that, you effectively create or up the odds, if you will, that we actually get a new variant on top of it rather than dealing with the, the, the initial. I, I, I have to admit, I don't understand the, the, the science as well as I should. Um, the, the initial approach to this with alpha. Can you speak to that? Sure. So I think, again, with biology, we all want to be humble. Uh, we don't know what we don't know. But the way I think about it, Andrew, is, number one, as we see, unfortunately, many people are being infected as we speak. That is a great opportunity for the virus to mutate, given literally, I think, uh, several billions of people uh, we're going to get uh, infected with symptoms or without symptoms with Omicron. Uh, what we have learned over the last you know, year with the vaccines uh, available to the public and with real world evidence is that if you have very high neutralizing antibodies, uh, you can prevent infection from person to person. And that's a bit the, the trick that's happening with Omicron now is because there's been such a huge genetic shift from the original virus uh, to Omicron that actually the protection against infection person to person is actually not as good as it was with the previous variants. And so uh, we personally believe at Moderna that doing uh, the next generation booster containing the Omicron sequence is going to be important not only to educate the immune system to those new mutations, but especially to protect infection uh, between different people.